The Maine State Housing Authority invited representatives of the U.S. Department of Agriculture, that's right, the USDA, to discuss how it could help close that affordable housing gap. Here's New Center Maine's Chloe Tebow. Watching them, they thrive. Just being at the house, playing around the yard. Dan Churchill of Bridgeton is proud of the life he has given his twin boys after recently becoming a homeowner. For him, it was a way to escape the rental market. The instability was, was making me go crazy. Dan bought his home with a loan from the USDA. It was a program he had never heard of until finding it with an internet search. I, mean, I was at a point where I'm like, I'm, I'm determined to find something. On Wednesday morning, Dan shared his success story at a round table at the Maine State Housing Authority in Augusta. Its key purpose, bringing together local and federal leaders to discuss the affordable housing crisis here in Maine. It's gonna take bold uh, moves upon all of us to make sure that we can have and see change. Joaquin El Toro is the administrator of the USDA's Rural Housing Service. He says one of his top priorities is equity in housing. The way that I define equity is is who are we not serving? Al Toro says in Maine that includes everyone from elderly Mainers to culturally diverse Mainers to Mainers in rural areas. It also includes Maine workers who need housing. When you safely and affordably house a community, it's amazing how resilient they become. A barrier to getting there though is the need for more housing units. We don't have enough housing stock when you don't have enough housing stock, you have prices that rise. Brennan says with a labor and material shortage, they're trying to get creative. It's the whole infrastructure of state government that is at work trying to address this issue of um, uh, getting more people involved in the trades, getting more people to uh, uh, get interested in the types of trades that build housing. The hope. We don't want to be losing people to spaces simply because they cannot find safe, affordable houses. Is keeping as many people in Maine as possible while making room for those who want to come here. We need new thought processes. We need more trades people. We need, uh, we need teachers. Who will all need a place to live that they can afford. In Augusta, Chloe Tebow, New Center, Maine. And Rhiannon Hampson says last year, the Maine USDA Rural Development Office distributed a total of 175 loans for single family homes. This year, that number is 195.